there. But wow, nice move from Wesley. There were some tactics there. The Black Queen was threatening to go back to G4. A5. Ooh, G4. But what takes first? He trades. But now there's no back rank checkmate, at least for white. The white king has some breathing space so the white knight can jump. Knight E5 five. on G4. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> As Wesley and just wins. <laughs> missed an opportunity. Big threat. Knight E5 takes away the Black King's escape square. Queen A8 will be a checkmate. Wesley needs something now. Well, can you not play F3? Oh, sorry, F6. Yeah. Classy. Control that white knight. Then, exactly. Then I go E5. <laughs> E6. Another <laughs> checkmate. <friend. laughs> oh, nothing gets past you. Uh, wow. I think Knight G3. I'm not sure it was good. This was a great gamble. Suddenly, at least there's attacking chances and he's forced Wesley to think. Three and a half minutes for Wesley, so he's not coming back. Only one second increment after move 40. White's got a decision to make now. No tr queen trade, surely. Maybe you can give a check to the Black King. Check and come back to A4, right? There we go. He's going to play that. Queen back somewhere. And the Black King is out in the open. Agnes is back in business. At least it's double-edged now. It's extremely complicated. He's got a knight and a pawn for the rook. Mm -hmm. And three-minute time advantage. And uh, could Wesley try to play it safe and actually step back with the king to c8 and say, you know what? I'm going to house my king on b8. And if you want the draw, you're welcome to it. I think that was the best move, actually. Yeah. He... Best decision. Because f5, d5... Wow, he took a leaf out of your book, Yvanka, just controlling that white knight with f6, Wesley so, but suddenly Magnus has the time to open things up. That black king, it might be in huge trouble. He goes back. And how does Magnus continue now? And Wesley, again, looking up, he's trying to check what move number it is. He's struggling now under three minutes. But it's also the tension, I think, that yeah, he's just nerves. really tense. Now, how to continue e5, the initiative? of course. Of course, E5. But, it's in uh, the flow now, Magnus. Push forward at any cost. But uh, can the king not hide itself on B8? Safety first, when well, you have this type of limited time. But then already you can go E takes F6, takes on D5, F7, Knight D5 you protect. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> he does hide. The Black King on B8. We're expecting Magnus now to either push or take this pawn. I think take it. I think take it on F6. Yep. Open up your rook. Get that past pawn. He's got to make a decision. Magnus Carlsen. He's maybe mulling over it, even capturing on C6 first. Though after he takes F6, maybe rook F8. Mm -hmm. Just to hunt down this pawn. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Will we see that variation? Wesley head in hands. Six. He goes for it. Ooh, fumbling the pieces there, Magnus. A bit of nerves, potentially. No, his pawn has landed on f7. Of course, rookie 8, knight e5. Big, big initiative for white. Great compensation for the material. Look at this Look at this past pawn on f7. Maybe it's time to actually um, try and trade off queens. Yeah, white will not agree to that trade, though, surely. Yeah. Okay, the queen slide. Okay, the queen. Oh. Knight e5. Knight e5. Big threats now. Knight forks all over the place. And Ooh, can, can he play it now? Yeah. But what is this? Can you give a check? Wesley's banking on the fact that he can give back some material. The white knight can jump into d7 with a family fork there, but it will be captured immediately. Should be winning, you feel like, for Magnus. He's got the safer king if he wins back the material, but still some calculation to be done. And, uh, well, Magnus, plenty of time on the clock. He has just under four and a half minutes this is a very critical position. Yeah, Wesley has two minutes to make 13 moves. What do you think about Queen, a Queen D7? <laughs> Beautiful. You're, you're smiling on Queen D7. <laughs> Queen to D7, hoping. The only thing I don't see the threat. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the threat either. But yeah. Beautiful move, though. And it would force Wesley to think. Magnus lifting Hang on. his rook. Can, can you l use that idea and play Queen to E8? Yeah, there would have been some tactics there. I'm not sure it was quite working out, but Magnus is going for direct checkmate. He's lifted his rook up, shifting it across the board. Queen a8 was a mate threat, so Black has had to play c6, opening up space for his king. He's got to run. 
Just like Ariantari in his game, the king has got to go on a walk. But Magnus is hunting it down. Surely this is winning for White. Judith, you're the attacker here. Rook is B3. this decisive? Continue. Rook B3. Rook B3 looks good. Wesley at this point looks up more in hope than expectation. <laughs> He's only got one minute and 52 seconds and it looks like the Black King is not going to survive that long. Rook B3. And you do feel that there are some ideas of knight takes pawn as well. Yeah, knight takes c6 threatened, knight takes rook on f7 threatened. Oh, maybe now your idea, your anger. Yes. <laughs> the knight can capture on c6. There might be better, there might be even stronger. But maybe just queen b6 check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take the material back and then go for checkmate after. Well, if king c8, then yeah. But also rook f3. Oof. F3 could be a killer in the next couple of moves. He plays it immediately, Judith. Nice spot there. Full board awareness, and that oh. white rook is entering the seventh rank. Oh, no, it's, it's it's one. The rook is. It's rook. game over. It's game over. Uh, he can still. Oh. No, still not. <laughs> wow. One check, and it's over. <laughs> rook check. Rook check. Wesley's going to resign. What a game. Ooh, what a game. What a gamble by Magnus Carlsen. And there he takes it.